Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2021 and another part of this Newcastle United series where last time we had just completed one of the greatest European nights in Newcastle's history by beating Barcelona 2-1 uh, away from home. Sorry, uh, We then beat Leicester 1-0 in the league in the last episode as well to keep up our good league form and after last episode... We started off with a 7-1 victory against Fulham. Five goals for Callum Wilson in that game. One for Shabozai and another for Almiron as well. But unfortunately we were beaten by uh, one of the title contenders this season, Liverpool. Three goals to one. Callum Wilson scoring again. He is on the hottest form uh, of any striker of all time right now. We then had another amazing night in a European journey against Barcelona. And this is even more remarkable because we went 2-0 down to Antoine Griezmann, basically. Um, he wasn't playing in the last game. He was brought into this match to try and uh, get some revenge for Barcelona. And that route one ball, not what you expect from Barcelona, over the top, scored by Antoine Griezmann. And then the second goal came just 10 minutes later and you're starting to fear the worst when you go 2-0 down inside 15 minutes against Barcelona. Griezmann played in by uh, the magician Lionel Messi uh, and at 2-0, very, very worried. But then in a space of just eight minutes, we come back. The ball sent forward, Fraser running through the defence, puts it into Edouard and he scores what I think was only his second goal of the season um, and he brought a goal back for us there at 2-1. And then Curtis Jones, the on-loan Liverpool man, uh, producing the magic to win the game for us. First off, that volley into the top corner, emphatically struck. It's 2-2 after half an hour. And three minutes later, 32 minutes on the clock, Matty Longstaff through to Wilson. Ball slipped through beautifully by Wilson, showing, showing he can do more than just score goals. Uh, and that was the game. 3-2. And another match against Barcelona that we were in control of. So Barcelona really struggling in the group at this point. Bournemouth were next up on our list. Uh, and we smashed them 3-1 as well. Two more for Wilson, even with a missed penalty. Uh, and Curtis Jones scoring as well. Those two together are unstoppable. Unfortunately... Oh no, sorry. Uh, next up was Blackburn, where we did manage to win 4-2 again. Curtis Jones and Wilson involved. Edouard finally finding the goals as well. Against Lyon in the Champions League, we'd already qualified by this point. Beating Barcelona home and away was enough to secure uh, qualification, but we're trying to win the group as well. And Ryan Fra Fraser scored twice. Callum Wilson with another goal. But unfortunately, against Aston Villa, nobody able to find the net. Callum Wilson missing a penalty again he keeps missing them i don't want to take him off them because he is our best penalty taker he's our top goal scorer he's a natural finisher uh, but he has missed a few now uh, but against uh, brighton callum wilson back on the score sheet two more odson edward with one as well and in the premier league it means that we're currently five points behind the league leaders we have a game in hand but arsenal everton it's quite a fluid situation um four points behind arsenal at the moment so everything to play for. We can cut that gap at the top down to four points with the win um, and make us, if Arsenal win, and go to the top anyway. Uh, so it will be interesting to see how this season plays out, but it remains very, very tight. Man City with two games in hand on us can easily jump up that table. Liverpool have a game in hand. It's tough this season. It's really, really tough. Luckily, Chelsea is struggling like anything down uh, at the bottom end of the top half. Um, and in the Champions League as well, in Group H, you can see we've already won the group. We're six points clear at the top of the group. We've won four, drawn one. We're yet to lose in Europe. Uh, Lyon trying to beat Barcelona in their final game to take that last uh, group spot available for the knockout stages. It'd be extremely uh, difficult for Barcelona if they didn't get through uh, to the knockout stages, especially having lost home and away to us. But it's so encouraging that we can beat a team like that home and away uh, because in theory they don't really get that much tougher than Barcelona if we can beat them home and away we can beat anyone home and away but today it's all about uh, a double header against Arsenal and Borussia Mönchengladbach the game against Borussia Mönchengladbach uh, a little bit of a dead rubber but I'm enjoying the European nights so we'll show that game as well uh, the Arsenal match is a key one as I said um, they are the ones that can move furthest ahead at the top. So if they win that game, the gap between us and them becomes seven points. The title starts to look very distant. If we win it, 
we move to 34 points. Man United remain at the top, but there's two points in it. So uh, really important game, that one, against Arsenal. We're at home as well. We do have an EFL Cup quarterfinal, Manchester United doubleheader coming up, uh, but I don't think I'm going to show that. I'm not too worried about the EFL Cup. Uh, I don't really care if we, we progress in that competition. It's not uh, what we're here for, really. So I'll probably look to move into January see how we get on possibly the Chelsea and Spurs doubleheader could be an interesting next point but uh, we'll see how we get on in the various competitions and where we want to pick up next so what we'll do today is jump into this game against Arsenal you can see we're starting with Wilson and Patrick Roberts up front uh, we then have Fraser and Vilka on the wings with Longstaff and Shabozhlai in midfield Lewis Senezi Ayer Hayden in defense uh, and then in goal we do have uh, Maynan now, Edouard at the moment, um, just not quite uh, fit enough at the moment. Um, high risk of injury. So he will not be playing in this game. Callum Wilson takes the captain's armband. He is just absolutely the embodiment of the club at the moment. Overperforming, uh, scoring big, important goals and just getting us into the knockout stages of the Champions League. It's really hard to believe how well this has gone so far. Uh, but we need something from Patrick Roberts today. Arsenal, as always, looking a little bit top-heavy. The attack is dangerous. The defence is vulnerable. Uh, we'll be hoping that we can just outfox them today. They have a history of benefiting from the tactic we use um, because we do play that high line. Lacazette and Aubameyang are pace merchants, so quite often they get in behind. We've taken the lead against Arsenal several times and ultimately lost the game. So we need to do a little bit better today. But Longstaff here has lost the ball in the worst place possible. Saka uh, just forced to turn back. Now Aubameyang to Genduzi. Saka in behind for Maitland-Niles. He puts it across and Hayden gets it away. Patrick Roberts trying to hit on the counter. Shabozlai recovers the uh, loose pass from Patrick Roberts. But we've lost the ball again. This is not a good encouraging start from the team. And Aubameyang down the left flank. Puts it across. Saka tackled Lewis uh, with the tackle there and it was Party, I think who put that ball uh, wide of the post but uh, we are not inspiring the fans uh, with confidence here it's a very very shaky start to proceedings uh, and that header there from the corner just going over the bar as well we need to uh, pick this up it's not been the most entertaining first half now it has to be said Genduzi here with the ball could be about to lose it Instead, he finds Maitland-Niles with a lovely little touch inside. And now Lacazette in on goal, but Maynan denying his compatriot with a very good save. Corner from Saka goes in. Senezi heads it away. Everton losing is uh, encouraging. Saka in. Shabozlai, uh, the first line of defence. Everton now 2-0 down, uh, which is very beneficial for us, but only if we can get the win. Tagliafico into Aubameyang. It's all Arsenal in this first half. Aubameyang out to Tagliafico. Ball across on the line or off the crossbar and then cleared away by Lewis. But this has been really poor from the team. They've got to be doing better in this second half. Isaac Hayden appears to have picked up a knock. Ball just been uh, cleared away. It's going to have to be Conte moving out to the right. I don't have a lot of depth at right back at the moment. Alvarez still out injured. Aubameyang here trying to cut in on Hayden, but he's made the tackle even with the knock. Oh, we've given the ball away again. Thomas back to Maitland-Niles. Man City now leading. Saka pulls it back. Genduzi has hit the crossbar again. The team are playing so poorly here, and it's only the profligacy of Arsenal uh, that is keeping us in this game. I don't know if I can throw the water bottle at 0-0. Uh, let's go for pointing the finger and say I'm not happy with the performance because that is exactly how I feel. Corner from Vilka goes in. Ayer has scored. The team talk has worked. Christopher Ayer, his first goal for the club. And we've come out in the second half. First chance of the game, effectively. And Ayer with the header. You should never be the first man in an attacking corner because the defence has clearly failed in its duty if they've allowed that to happen. But we've got a real opportunity here. A year with a free kick now onto Abdu Conte. Shabozlai to Wilson cuts inside the defender. The team are awake. Roberts is in on goal, but he's not 
the natural finisher. You'd want that to be the other way around. Roberts playing in uh, Wilson, and that's why the save was made. Wilson, I think, at least half the time is banging that into the back of the net. Roberts, uh, not a great goal scorer uh, at the moment, uh, and just kind of shows the lack of strength and depth we have in some positions. We need another top quality striker, really. Lacazette back to Maitland Niles, trying to get that equaliser an hour on the scoreboard. Uh, cleared away, Fraser has picked it up. Wilson out to Patrick Roberts. Wilson making the deadly run through the middle. Roberts is going to try and find him. He's beat the defender, finds Vilka, and it's just over the crossbar. Again, if that's uh, Wilson, you have a slightly different dynamic at play, and we maybe uh, do get that second goal, but we are uh, very much making this a game of two halves, and Fraser's in behind from Shabozai, and it's denied again by Leno, who is keeping Arsenal in this game. The team doing so well in the second half. Ball cleared out here. Longstaff tackled Maitland-Niles. Uh, picking it up. I'm sure we're going to tackle this and take it out for a corner. But Maitland Niles still going. And eventually Longstaff does bring him down. We do make, need to make uh, some changes here. Coop Miners can come on. Thrown from Abdul Conte. In towards Roberts. Matt Vien or Leno away or Matt Vienko. I'm not sure who it was. Uh, clearing the ball away. Wasn't uh, confident defending. And now Gabriel Barbosa on the attack for Arsenal. But Maynan... Making the save, I was worried Aya yeah, was about to bring him down, but he stayed on his feet, luckily enough. Let's just switch Longstaff for Longstaff. Ten minutes to go. Are we going to see this game out? Koopliner's trying to play it behind, but Matt Vienko intercepts. Now Burn Leno forward. Saka over the top for Pepe. He's done it before, but Maynan making the save there against Nicola Pepe. And we managed to keep the clean sheet for now. Pepe's corner. Cleared away again. We've gone to a more defensive approach for the last 10 minutes or so. Can we see this game out? We're going very defensive for the last three minutes of added time. But it looks like we may have done it. And there you go. A huge win in the title race. In a game where in the first half we were extremely poor. Uh, but in the second half we were the dominant team. And that is a massive, massive win that keeps us in the title race. If we'd lost that game... You could very easily argue that we're out of the race. Now we're only two points behind Manchester United. Uh, and we are one point clear of Liverpool who have that game in hand. But they can only hit 36 points. Uh, Manchester City can move as high as 37 points. But they've got to win two games to do that. And even then they're only three points ahead. So that really does keep us in the hunt. Everton losing as well is beneficial. Uh, so today was a really good day for us in uh, trying to establish our hopes of a Premier League title. But next up, we have Borussia Mönchengladbach away from home in the Champions League. So taking on Borussia Mönchengladbach today as the match engine uh, warms up, you can see we've gone for a uh, reasonably strong team. Patrick Roberts uh, playing with Coop Miners, Rice and Almiron uh, in the midfield positions. Wilson and Edouard back together up front again. Uh, it's an interesting Borussia Mönchengladbach team. They've got that Jan Sommer in goal who is a very good Swiss goalkeeper uh, they've also got Zachariah, Ginter, Newhouse and Bolo player they are all uh, very good players that you would comfortably have as standout performers in most mid-table Premier League teams so this is not going to be an easy match we're going to go out there see if we can get the win uh, we've guaranteed that top spot so today is just a bit of fun in our European adventure. It'd be nice to finish as high as 16 points in our first Champions League uh, group appearance, especially given Barcelona were in that group. And Roberts with a corner, it's cleared away. Coop Minus gets to it, already on a yellow card. Beats the defender, holds it up, and that's straight at Jan Sommer. I'm not sure if that was a cross or a shot, but either way, at that kind of angle, it's going to be difficult. Ball across now to Rice, Roberts. Coming down the right flank, he had three around him. I think they might be uh, doubling up on Patrick Roberts, which seems unusual. Coop Miners over to Almiron, and he was open at the back post, but wasn't able to get the uh, effort past Summer, despite a really good first touch. And from the corner, Borussia Mönchengladbach get the ball away from their goal. Uh, foul committed by Declan Rice. Thank God that wasn't Coop Miners. Newhouse to player. Rice picked up a yellow card for that tackle. Newhouse on the attack. It's on the edge of the penalty area. Blocked and then away by Sanesi. Zachariah. 
Coming back across, blocked by Edouard. Be careful in the box, Edouard. Zachariah back in and easy for Meenan uh, to just pluck that one out of the sky. Ball sent forward. It's tackled by Patrick Roberts there. Good bit of work from him and he's charging down the right flank. He's got three, four, five across him. He takes it to the edge of the area, to the byline. A Rabona assist from Patrick Roberts to find Tian Koopminers. And it's now 1-0 away from home in Germany. Uh, a really good goal that. Patrick Roberts, I've been trying to give him a little bit more game time to see if we can rediscover the form he had when he was at Celtic a couple of years ago. Uh, and right there, he shows that flair that he has uh, by rebonering that corner uh, to Coop Miners on the edge of the six-yard box. And he finished it brilliantly in the top corner to give us the lead. Mainan now sends it forward to Coop Miners. He's going to be walking a tightrope for this entire match. Hayden over the top. Callum Wilson in behind. Hasn't scored in a couple of games. And he's blocked off here by Jan Sommer. So the drought, if you can call it that, goes on for Callum Wilson. I'm not sure that a couple of games is a drought. Uh, Edward, I think, went 18 hours without a game uh, earlier this season. Wilson ends his drought, as you would expect. 27 goals. And it's not even Christmas. 27 goals for Callum Wilson. That is out of control. Uh, he will probably end up on 50 goals this season. That's my bet. Uh, and you can see why. Look at that finish. Callum Wilson is broken. There's no doubt about that. 2-0 now against Borussia Mönchengladbach. Uh, I think Barcelona are beating Leon in the other match, looking at that six-point gap that they've opened up. Um, so no big shock in the group, other than us obviously winning the group. It's not an easy group, Leon, Borussia Mönchengladbach and Barcelona, but we're about to absolutely walk it. Um, which is very, very unusual. But now, uh, 50 minutes has passed. We don't look under any real danger as Elvedi puts it into Kramer, and Edouard has beaten two midfielders there with the ball, or stolen the ball and then beaten another one. Baumgartel back to Sommer, and he's given it away to Coop Miners, through to Declan Rice, and that is uh, Sunday League stuff there, a poor goalkeeper's clearance didn't even make it to the halfway of his own halfway of his own half I guess um, and then easily intercepted by Coop Miners who played in Declan Rice clearly on side ocean of space and he's left the keeper on his knees it's 3-0 Declan Rice getting a goal which is nice to see Abdu Conte puts it in Sommer trying to take command of his area after that mistake not a mistake you expect, and there's a mistake in our defence. Brian Mbolo has got through, and the wonder kid of past days unable to get the finish. Hayden then cleaning up by tackling uh, Turam and Wilson. Span one uh, defender, but wasn't able to charge through on goal this time. Uh, but we are comfortably taking this game, it is fair to say. So we can look to just freshen up in a few places, give some uh, lesser used players a bit of time maybe. Uh, on the pitch, I also bring on Ryan Fraser for Patrick Roberts, who's had a really good game today. Ten minutes to go. Lena is blocked off. Kramer, and then it's over the top. Everybody ended in with uh, some sort of air at the moment. 3-0, though. Five minutes to go. Easily going to win this match. Barcelona winning their game as well. And this has been a very enjoyable Champions League campaign so far. It's going to be fascinating to see who we get in the knockout stages. Another defensive mistake here, but Maynard able to just slowly pluck that one out the air. And he's launched it forward. Edouard heads it on. And unfortunately, Almoron not able to get there. Ball sent forward. Four minutes of added time left. And Bolo through on goal again. And this time, he ruins the clean sheet. His 10th goal of the season for Briel Mbolo. Showing he's still got it. Uh, I think he used to be a Baal player way back when he was a wonder kid, and now in Germany in the Bundesliga uh, and in the Champions League, showing that he's still got something about him. He's not a forgotten wonder kid at this point. But 3-1, a good performance. Disappointing to lose a clean sheet, uh, but we've won that group in absolutely fantastic fashion. Uh, and we are into the knockout stages of the Champions League relatively comfortably going to be really interesting to see who we get if we look at the other teams that managed to get through liverpool juventus tough group there um means we could play juventus as uh, ver uh, by virtue of winning the group psg milan milan could be in line man united monaco uh, i'd rather play monaco than madrid to be fair that 
is shameful from Brescia Dortmund, but Celtic would be amazing. That'd be like getting a buy. Uh, Benfica as well. Real Madrid, obviously dangerous. Barcelona, we can't play. Arsenal, we can't play. So Real Madrid, Juventus, the teams we want to avoid. Anybody else, I'm reasonably comfortable with. Um, but it's going to be uh, going to be interesting. Uh, it's going to be a tough Champions League knockout stage campaign. There's not too many weak teams that have managed to get through. Uh, Celtic, the only kind of one that you'll, you would raise an eyebrow at. Uh, but what we'll do now is we will play through quite a few of these games, get to kind of maybe the middle of January, so we can have a little check-in on the transfer window and also think about who we might be playing in the knockout stages uh, down here. So do drop a like down below if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. But until next time, see ya.